to California, same Gnome Rock Road, yeah, that's a spot some people like to stay when they want to get a little bit out of quartzite. And um, you can see it does look like a dome. Great trail if you want to go walking around those parts. And you can see there's quite a few RVers out there. Seems like we stayed there several years ago. Leaky and I took a climb up one of those domes. It was an uh, interesting passage. Port site straight ahead. Coming up soon to a theater near you. Wow. I don't think COVID kept any of these people away. <laughs> there's, uh, within every mile, there's got to be a thousand, I'm guessing. Looks like the circles aren't too tight uh, here, so people are keeping a little bit of distance between it for the most part. And there, there's some even in the ravines down there to kind of keep out of the wind, I guess. Don't see them very easily, but most people are just kind of hanging on the bottom of the main roads. Some of the big rigs I can see out there. But yeah, this Dome Rock area, this would be on the west side of Quartzsite. Looking good. And look at this up ahead. I think these people must know something that are right here by this mountain. Um, now the winds have been going from left to right, north to south. Um, I don't know if they get wind protection here or not, but I almost would have a hunch that's where the smart money goes to maybe avoid some of the winds. But who knows, there might be other reasons. Maybe they like the hiking up there on that um, bridge. I'm not sure I know the name of that one. And as I look off in the distance, maybe about, oh, five miles out there towards the distant mountains, yeah, I see thousands more out there. So, as we get into Quartzsite up ahead, there is the La Posa North, and La Posa South is some of the main areas where people go. And I'm going to be heading to the right, going south to meet up some folks. We are in Quartzsite City Limits. Exit 17 coming up ahead on the west end of town. And you can see the shadows are getting long, so sunset isn't that far away. Although, where it says it's 502, is that um, we know is that, yeah, it's going to be later sunsets here because of the hour time zone change. Arco Station 243 for diesel and 232 for regular gasoline. I'm sure in some of your Midwestern states um, and southern states you can say, yeah, we can do better than that for us Californians. That's so cheap, I don't know. I want to gargle with it, wash with it, I'm not sure what. Take it home with me. <laughs> well, despite all the RVs that we saw um, coming in that were out in BLM land, not a lot of traffic and things going on here, is there? Yeah, there's the Tyson Wells grounds. I think I said Bob Wells. I'm thinking of the RVer. Tyson Wells area over here is where they have the flea market and everything else going on. Yeah, there it is. Tyson Wells, if you can see that. So it'll be cranking up here as the week comes on. A couple more shops down south. I know they had some Good food. Good food's everywhere. And if you're hungry, it's good. There's one right there. Chinese restaurant. Can't go wrong with that for tasty food, can you? Some of the gems and um, amethyst things like that um, in this area over here at Kuhn Street and Central are just phenomenal. Get some good finds. And I think it's $40 for two weeks stay in the BLM land, something like that. That's um, going to be what I'm going to do. I guess you can get water if you can pallet their water here. <laughs> it is potable. And um, also do um, dumps. You have to wait in line sometimes quite a while. But if you need it, it is there. 
Okay, let's do a speed test here in Quartzsite. Saturday, 5 p.m. It is thinking, well, uh oh, not much. Not surprise here, and it's going to get worse as the week goes on. This is just kind of the start of the week. Well, there it's kind of trying. Up to about 8 or 9. I tried a couple other times, and it never got above 5, so I got a little lucky spurt there for a second. And um, going up, well, <laughs> it's been up and down. It's going to try for about 4 or 5 megabits. I could handle that if it stayed that way, but my sense is once the sun sets, it's probably everyone's going to jump on, just like the morning. Unless you're an early bird between about, oh, 5 o'clock and 7 o'clock, after that, it's going to slow down. Right there. Isn't that funny? No. Okay. no, no. <laughs> Emma? No. No. She's gone Yeah, I, I think you've been in the smoke a little too long. <laughs> Call it smoky. <laughs> so it's warm outside? And she goes, no, Greg, it's chilly. And I said, but you eat chilly. And so we were going around. And then finally she's like, it's a different meaning of the word. She was very literal. She's just, I mean, she's just... So then we started, then she saw, she goes, it's kind of like the different meanings for aunt. <laughs> and I said, oh, so now you're going to say, you know, your aunt has six legs or something. She's like, oh, no. She's like, <laughs> I said, and this is day because I couldn't show. remember Greg and Shelly, yeah, right. so it it's okay. She, you're going to be Roger Roger forever. I'm Roger, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's Roger. Roger, yeah. Roger. No, that's, you're Roger Roger. He's Roger. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> So what hey, did Jelly. you? Well, your brother's Richard. So there we go. Okay, I'm Richard. Like You're Richard. And Richard marked the spot. That's right. <laughs> and okay, here it is. As I mentioned, we were paying forty dollars for two weeks. Um, I think the season's a hundred and change. I can't remember how many dollars, but over a hundred. But um, okay, La Posa South. Here we go. And uh, this is the check-in, and I'm sure the people that are working here are um, getting free lodging. $180 for the season. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> uh, 35 okay, boss. <laughs> there we go. We got the Arizona flag, cool. The most important spot of the whole facility is right here. If you don't have a restroom in your RV, then this is the spot to go. There's several of them that will be here, but that's nice for those who don't want to fill up their black tanks. And they've got a peace flag on theirs, cool, and an ecology flag to boot. They must be from California. And uh, so you can see that as we start here, there's a couple spattering, not a lot of them here. Hey, look at that, there's a little bridge there with actually concrete. Most of them you just have to go through the um, wash, which you'll see to get to our spot, which is not too far. We're, oh, I guess a quarter of a mile is where we make the turn and to Grassroots Living. Thank you for doing a great job, Shailene and Dean. And so they said, look for the hubcap there. There's the hubcap on the right. Hi guys. <laughs> and so we are gonna take that road Love this e-bike, Rad City, and it works okay off-roads, provided it's not too hilly. Definitely not a full mountain bike, um, but it's got bigger tires than the city tires, so it does okay. Not the fat tires that you would want, but it's really rough terrain. And you can see we have a little bit of dust from other vehicles, but it's not too bad out here. So here's that wash I was telling you about. And so if you've got like a fifth wheel, you might want to go around the other way. Howdy. And here's some of our plan here. Garrett Seifert, certified RV technician. And you can reach him at Garrett, G-A-R-R-E-T-T, -T, dot mobile RV services at gmail.com or call him 253-737-0724.
I'm maintenance mechanic, so be sure to check him out if you need some work done while you're down here. Quite a few of them in that genre. And this is our little circle here. There's Jared's rig right there. There's moi, Shailene and Dean, Grassroots Living, next to us. Good morning, friends, and I am glad to be here. I mean, glad to be here with you. Last night, about 1 o'clock in the morning, I'm doing some editing, and the computer goes... <laughs> yeah, um, it wasn't a blue screen of death. It wasn't even a black screen of death. It just kind of shut down, and it's like, uh-oh. I went to start up and I got to the BIOS part of it, not to the operating system. And then after a couple of tries there, I would not even get there. It would just be the MSI before it gets to the BIOS. It's like, uh-oh. So um, after a couple of tries, I thought, you know, I'm going to sleep on it. I woke up in the morning. I could get to the BIOS and I tried to exit the BIOS and it looked like it was starting up Windows. So yeah. <laughs> So I don't know, this happened on the last trip a year ago and uh, I had to take it in and have um, the disc repair, but I think it's the um, something in the hardware is causing this, which is a little spooky, but it's working right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this edit, get the video uploaded and um, fingers crossed. I was thinking, wow, will I go to a Phoenix and get another computer? If I use my iPhone or my iPad, um, how am I gonna transfer files? I don't know if I have the, connecting cable so keep your fingers crossed for me pray for me i hope that i can keep this show going so anyway on with the show thanks for being here we all walk with an outer glow living on our insides casting shadows the world's spinning around again we all know but we all pretend Spin around again Blood pumping around again You said your name was Billy Joel But you didn't know how to play the piano You fit so far on the beaten road But you kept on traveling to the so-called Okay, here we go, digging out the wheels. You can see, once it goes, how deep it goes in there. Look at that. So they're gonna be able to take this and put it in, and build a bridge of matter of sorts. Although if it was just the truck, that'd be one thing, but 
they've got quite a bit of load. I'm not sure how much this wood weighs here, but um, it's got to be at least a thousand pounds that they're pulling. Plus the weight of the trailer. Plus the weight of the trailer, yes. Okay. I think they've got it. Woohoo! Success! <laughs> Loving it! You see it here, folks! They've done it. They are out. Job well done. Okay, this is the part where they collect admission. Somebody tip the hat. Everybody put in for admission tickets. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> oh yeah, you've got the um, the lifesavers right there. Thank goodness you brought those. The bottom has that. I bought for me for Christmas. Oh, a Christmas present. How thoughtful was that? She said, you never know in Portside, we might need it. Exactly. The washes, yes. You never know. If you can't use them for yourself, you can use them for somebody else. And off they go into the sunset. All good stories must come to an end. But as the saying goes, bad decisions make good stories. <laughs> Seen the sights and people there